Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about whether the digital rules of India are curbing these fundamental rights of freedom of expression by enforcing censorship in any way. And I stand against the motion. So in 2015, a man named Sandesh Baliga in Australia was accused of stalking two women. Sandesh told that Bollywood had taught him that relentless pursuing of women was the only way to woo them. In the end, court magistrate accepted the argument that Baliga's cultural background had influenced his behavior. Now, in my opinion, considering stalking to be a constituent of Indian culture and the belief that Indian people have internalized stalking based on digital media news is erroneous. But the fact that Baliga used Bollywood as a pretext of his behavior can be said to be somewhat right because be it rampant objectification or commodification or the sensualizing of the content to make it sellable, all of it has remained unchecked earlier. So, I would like to ask one question that if everybody, teleoperators, industry verticals are following the same rules and why not these foreign companies? Are we just waiting for the free speech crusades to blame it on the government? And is it not important to provide social media users running into crores a medium, a platform for the robust resolution of their grievances within a time-bound manner? Is it not important to hold digital media sites accountable for objectionable content? And I mean, where is the government going wrong in tracking down the sources of the messages that incite violence and serious offences? Rules make our society. And without rules, is this everybody running berserk? People who have stripped themselves of responsibility, ethics, who believe they can lead a dual existence, who can abuse, can say anything that is legally untenable, believe that media sites like Instagram and Twitter are playgrounds that give them a blue tick and a Silicon Valley certificate to do whatever they want to. And when questioned, they hide under Article 19 1A. Some people are responsible for creating dirt on social media. Unfortunately, there are a lot who love the dirt. They like to live in the scum and throw it on others in the hope that some of it might stick on them. In order to prove my point, I would like to quote some instances. Amazon's prime head got her anticipatory bail rejected by Alabad High Court because there was no regulation on OTT. Fake news on 26 January, a policeman shot a farmer a clear attempt to create a riot. People like Deep Sindhu Lakha Sidhan, a man involved in many four cases, a criminal, was live on Facebook. Today, these people are freaking out when there are some rules that are applied on them. I am responsible for what I say. But is there anyone responsible for what they say or they post on digital media platforms? Thank you.